Hello YouTube. This is going to be a video on my latest puzzle, the 8x8. This puzzle was made out of 7x7s uh, and a 4x4 core. So basically, it's this mod that some guy did a long time ago, like back in 2009 or 8 or something, where you take the core of a 4x4 and like the core of a 7x7 and you add hooks to it to create an 8x8. So this is the result. Uh, it's a pretty big puzzle um, compared to the 7x7. Seven seven. See it's a lot bigger than the 7x7 seven because seven, uh, the cubies are the same size but generally when puzzles get bigger the cubies get smaller but Again, on this puzzle, it doesn't happen. And it's actually taller than the 9x9 if you count the pillow. To edge to edge, it's exactly the same, but if you count the pillow, it's slightly taller than a 9x9, which is kind of crazy. So, turning on this puzzle is nothing super special. It turns a little locky, as you can see. Um, very locky right there. And I, I don't know why it does that, but uh, yeah. So these outer layers are decent. You know, very locky, but uh, yeah. These next to outer layers are reasonable. You know, they, uh, they, they turn okay. So you can see a little bit of a scramble there. So yeah. But they're getting a bit worse. They're not as good as these. Inner, or more inner layers, and then these layers suck, like they really, you gotta align the puzzle, and then get these second inner layers, And but they turn, they still turn, and that just turns, bring it back, alright, yeah, so yeah, and the white side doesn't turn as well, but you can see it's kind of, like this one, like, it's, it's not too bad. The puzzle does pop, and it has one major flaw. And this is the one reason why I'm very disappointed about this puzzle. Like, I can accept the fact that these layers are not the best turning. For the amount of work that's been put into this, this is incredibly good turning. Like, I mean, this 8x8 was made out of a 7x7. That doesn't, like, there is no hidden layer. This puzzle also doesn't have a hidden layer. It uses a completely different mechanism from the standard Xing Shao 8x8 or the VQ 8x8. Even though this actually has VQ pieces in it and it has the VQ pillow. But basically, normal 8x8s, like the ones you can buy in the store for like 60 bucks or something, have as many pieces as a 9x9. So they have an extremely low justice factor, I guess what you could call it, that thing Oster Van Dervinster started to say. Anyways, but it has a very low justice factor because there's all these pieces hidden. This puzzle only has one internal piece. One piece that you cannot see in the cube right here. Unlike most, you know, odd layered cubes where, like for example, the 6x6, where you can see some internal pieces in there. If you're to split the 8x8, you can kind of see right down to the white 4x4 core, ball core, and that's it. That's the only piece. Now, again, on to the, uh, the big problem. The very inner layers. They're scary to turn. And I'm going to turn one at the end of the video, but I had no idea of a success. Now, I have turned these. Don't get me wrong. This puzzle is 100% fully functional. It's just that this middle layer here and here, they're, uh, they're a bit scary. Like, it doesn't, uh, it turns, but it pops. And it has really catastrophic pops. Like, normal puzzles, when they pop, you know, it's something that you can deal with. Like, for example, you know, one of these pieces pop out or something, right? Like, they're actually kind of tough to pop out without you wanting them. Yeah. 
Anyways, so you get like one of these pieces to pop out, like that. This puzzle is not at risk of suddenly just crumbling into a million pieces because it popped. This puzzle can get that kind of pop. I mean, on a 7x7, seven seven, there really isn't any kind of catastrophic pop that actually just crumbles the puzzle. It doesn't happen on the 9x9. Nine nine. You can sort of have a bad one on the 6x6 six six where internal pieces fly out and maybe you'll lose a quarter of the puzzle, but this puzzle can pop completely. And then you try to put it back together and it just crumbles in your hands. It's because these pieces pop. These pieces are centers. But these aren't centers like on the 6x6. Six six. They're centers like on the 7x7. Seven seven. So this piece, right here on the 7x7, seven seven, and then the 8x8, eight eight, they're equivalent. Except like with just a little piece cut off to make room for the others. And it's just basically the core of a 7x7 seven seven with like a hook on there. Like a second I got this bag parts because it can fall quite a few 7x7s. Seven seven. I have a core piece that didn't make it into the final mod. If I try to find it here, one second. thought I brought one. Oh, I guess I didn't. Whatever. But anyways, like, this puzzle doesn't have a core like this. A spider arm core it has a 4x4 four four ball core. Anyways, so yeah. This is kind of the third attempt at this puzzle. My first attempt involved these edges, which I guess you can kind of see here. They're split a little bit to add to the, cir the circle, I guess. That it, there's a lot of there's huge amounts of work that goes into like making this puzzle so seven by seven pieces can turn as an eight by eight. But anyways, you gotta split them. So I thought maybe if I split them, but I have them as springs. This puzzle has springs, so it'll be super awesome. I tried that. So unstable, it'll never work. And I pretty much, it would explode. So I gave up on that idea. So then I thought, okay, I'll cast the whole, or not the whole puzzle, but just these little, the cores. So I don't have to, you know, spend, like I had four 7x7s seven just in case it would come to that, but I really didn't want to. And I did wind up using one of those 7x7s seven seven for this, as you can see, and the other one uh, had to be gutted for spare parts, so this did require three puzzles, but whatever. So anyways, it, uh, yeah, so I tried fully casted pieces, but and I got this puzzle all assembled, and I was super excited to make first turns, and I tried and it was so stiff, it would just not, not turn like this. It would not even come close. It would like, sort of, you could get about that much of a turn out of it. And then pieces would break. Like the casted pieces aren't very strong, so they break. So I thought, okay, there's clearly an issue of friction. So somehow the plastic that was made in the original 4x4s has a different tolerance and stuff to the plastic that happens from casting resin pieces. So I wind up cutting the casted pieces in half using the 7x7 core of that, but using the original hooks from the 4x4, and that did the trick, and here we are. So yeah, and now nothing breaks, I can turn this with confidence. Not one finger, but uh, two fingers or something is, is pretty good. Not really speed cube worthy, obviously wouldn't want to be cube with this. And it has absolutely, I mean, offset it this much. I guess it'll cut, but I mean, that's not even anything. Okay, third of a cubie, I guess it'll cut. Not, 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 not a puzzle, but I would worry too much about that. So anyways, um, now I'm gonna give a middle slice turn a shot. A little bit weary, oh, there we go, yay. Yeah, for you too. Okay, there we go. So there's a middle slice. See, nothing happened, and it was actually quite smooth, but it was scary because uh, it's not always so um, forgiving. And then you can see you can make other turns. Uh, yada, yada, yada. So this is obviously 100% fully functional cube. Um, see if I can get a slice on another axis without too severe of a pop. 
Yeah, this, this slice is giving me some more resistance. It's a little bit scary. Uh, no, nah, I don't think I'm going to do it. No, no. It, it'll pop. And when it pops, it's brutal. Yeah, so this this axis right here, this turn. Is, oh, yeah. There we go. I got comp. Oh, Jesus. Oof. Yeah, so that's what happens when I uh, go a little too far with this puzzle. So, yeah, it was looking like it was, you know, maybe going to be an okay-ish, but no. You can see it can make those turns. It's it's, it's an 8x8, but scary stuff. So while well, it's disassembled, I'll just try to get this into a... Yeah! going to lose the half of the puzzle. going to lose that half of the puzzle. It's not as bad as it can get. It can actually lose the whole puzzle. Anyways... So you can see here is like a piece you'd see on a 7x7. It's like one of those uh, pieces and I cut off one of the edges here. I'm gonna grab another one so they fit together like that. I also rounded kind of here with some sandpaper and here on this edge to kind of smooth it out. Here's one of the hooks. So you can see this is part of a 7x7 center and I just cut away at those two sides of the center and made some rounds here, rounds here, and this this was what kind of came out of a mold, so this is a casted piece. You can see here, uh, this is like a full casted piece that I got, so these pieces don't really work, but I have a couple of them in there, but when it's all of them, so they don't work. So yeah, you can see that. And then here's the black part, is the original um, corner, I meant 4x4 chunk. And I just glue them together, and the combo works nicely. It's only been spray painted right on the top here because I didn't want to take it apart again. So, yet it comes apart quite a bit. So, anyways, that's that piece. You can see these big edges that are normally equivalent to these pieces here. They were split. A lot of work on these ones. They were split. So you can see there's a gap. I basically took epoxy sculpt blob, put it in there, squeezed it until it was the point, and then let it dry. I cut off this chunk on this side, so it's now flat. And then I cut away here to make room for the ball core. So a lot of work went into that part. All of these uh, big and small edges, they're both, yeah, they're also split, but this one split the most extreme. This one split a bit, and then this one split very little, kind of, so you get, so they kind of fit together and then taper off, so then a corner doesn't really have too much problems. And then the corners have been cut away, so there's no more stop, like there's no more triangle piece. And then I filled it with epoxy sculpt just in case for catching. And uh, yes, yeah, so those are those pieces. Uh, the little little pieces like this. It just has this side rounded and cut away. And you can see the four by four core in there. It's a white one. And I'm just gonna. Yep. Hopefully, I don't lose any pieces. Ah oh, man, that piece split in half. Sorry about that. Anyways, yeah, you can see this piece split, but anyways, it doesn't matter. Alright, so I'm just gonna slowly and carefully take away some pieces. Get deeper into this puzzle. I kind of, I knew that this thing was gonna explode if I did too many of those turns. I was kind of planning on it, so I wanted to push this to its limits. Kind of demonstrate the fact that it's not the most stable thing in the world. Okay. So yeah, um, the original maker of this puzzle didn't really do too much in-depth on how it was made, so I'm going to kind of try to give you guys a better idea of the mechanism of this puzzle. 
So you can see there's quite a lot of these hooks. Here's one of the fully casted hooks that made it into the original puzzle. It's okay if there's a couple. The resistance isn't that bad, but if there's too many, it starts to get to be a little bit uh, uncooperative. And a couple more. Sorry, this is going to be a longer video. Every time I say to myself, this is not going to be a long video. Okay. Yeah, it's stable. So you can see here, you could look at the internals and kind of how these splits are sort of look at the good lighting here. See, you can see there's the central ball core, and then there's the little 4x4 hooks that attach to the centers, and then you got your basically just. Anyways, so yeah, you can really see how this puzzle works. Anyways, so that's the uh, 8x8. Quite a lot of work went into this one. I will be probably not be making any more mods for quite some time now, simply because I, uh, I'm practicing for the World Championship this year. I'm going, and it's going to be a big trip, so I kind of want to do well in that competition. So I'm not sure how many videos of puzzle mods I'm going to make in between now and then. Probably a couple, but uh, yeah, I've sort of ran out of ideas for puzzles, which, yeah, that's kind of that. Anyways, so, uh, yep, thanks for watching.